guys, welcome to TechEd LLC. Today we're going to be taking a uh, good look at the computer, the different components that are inside a computer, as well as uh, try to remove some of your intimidation of what's going on inside a computer so you're not too afraid to dive in and change your component when something goes wrong with yours. Uh, for today's lesson, we're not going to be using a power or a computer that is plugged in for safety reasons. We are also not going to be using a grounding grommet, so we're not going to be grounding ourselves to the computer as these computers are dead and they no longer work. Uh, they were computers that were uh, gotten from the school district. They were going to be thrown away or recycled, and so we, they gave them to us so we could use them. So let's dive in. We're using a, an HP computer today, and this lesson applies to other computers as well. They're relatively the same. This is a desktop computer, um, not a tower version. I find this to work a little bit better than a uh, tower computer. Uh, the first thing we're going to have to do is take the top off. And to do that, we're going to look at and find these little tabs that are on the side. And that allows us to pop off the top. So what you're going to do is take and press in on both of these at the same time. It takes a little bit of force to do that. You'll notice that the cover slid backwards. So now I can take and lift off the cover. A lot of times on the back side of the cover there may be some instructions on how to take different parts out. Again, these are all different uh, for different manufacturers, so be aware of that. This is a point where you would ground yourself before touching anything on the inside here. You'd wear this uh, device here. It has a, it's a bracelet and it has a contact here where it comes in contact with your skin. And then you take the other end, which has an alligator clip, and you would attach it to the chassis of the computer. So this would ground you. What this does is it prevents a static charge from leaving you entering the computer and wiping out one of the components. So when you're doing this, it is very important that you're grounded. And also, you probably don't want to be standing on carpet. As you know, carpet will uh, generate some static as you move around on that. So, but for today's lesson, we're not using it because these are dead already. Okay, so to get into this, the first thing we have to do is remove the DVD slash CD-ROM. In order to do that, you do have to remove the front uh, plastic piece here of the computer. And what we're going to do is we see this green tab over here. We're going to pull up on this, as the arrow says, and push that out. Once it's pushed out, we kind of push on it and you'll hear some snaps. It does come off with a little bit of force, but then it just falls right off like so. Let's set that to the side. The next thing that we're going to do is get rid of this, and you'll notice that there's an arrow here that allows us to pull this up. Now if you just pull from one side, it may go kind of hard, so you might want to pull from both, and that tips forward. Now we're going to remove two cables. The, most of the major devices of the computer have two uh, cables turning to them. You'll have a power supply, and you'll also have data. You have to remove both. So for this one here, right here is our power supply. And what we're going to do is grab onto the thick plastic part here tightly with a slight wiggle back and forth, very slight wiggle. This will come right out. It's important that you don't go hard in either direction or up and down. And there's a slot that this connects to. It can snap that off. It's only plastic. It is delicate, so be very careful during this step. Same thing applies here. Now, this is a SATA cable. This is our data. Same thing, a slight wiggle, pull, and that comes right out. All right. Now, if I turn this sideways for you, you'll see that there's another green tab here, and that tab is locking into a screw. I'll show you that in a second. So what you're going to do is press in on that, and that's going to unlock it. I'm going to slide backwards, and then I'm going to pull this up. You'll see that there's two screws here on the side. Those two screws, and they're on both sides by the way, those two screws ride in these slots here. They go down, and then it slid forward. So this guides the component into place. These slots are on both sides. I said before, those slots that are in there, you know, if you can see this, there's a thin slot here, and this is again with the power, and then this one over here was the data. Be very careful in pulling these out. And you see here, that's the matching slot. You'll also see that there's grooves, 
and make sure that that only allow these to go in in one direction so you can't put them in upside down so when we're putting this back together make sure you got it lined up right take a good look at it before you try forcing it in our next level down here is our a drive or small disk drive and I'm going to remove the power here same rules apply slight wiggle back and forth pulling slides right out and then I have my data cable here now this one is an older component uh, no, no longer found on new computers and it uses the old style of data which is called serial so you can notice that there's a lot of wires here this small wire newer technology allows more information to travel through it yet it is smaller reduced in size so the same thing applies here I'll grab onto it tightly slight wiggle back and forth and it slides right out you'll notice that all there, these are used pins that are in there and I'll show you the other half here in a second again same thing with the lever there's one under here I press down on this I can slide it backwards and then slide it out same thing with the screws on the sides and if you take a look this is our serial port you see all the little pins that are in there so you gotta be careful putting this back together is not to fold over any of those pins and that's our A drive next part we'll look at will be our power supply which is back here this can be lifted up for this demonstration activity we're not going to be removing the power supply what we do want to expose down here this is our hard drive which has been cleverly hidden underneath here so same thing I have two um, uh, cables down here the data and the power supply and I can take those out now or I can take them out just a little bit I'm going to take them out a little bit later so I have another green lever here and I'm just going to push down on that again slide and then it pops right out like so so this is our hard drive I have two cables on it slight wiggle pull straight out slight wiggle pull straight out so that's all it takes to remove to remove your hard drive and put a new one in it's not that bad again right here are all the ports that are in there again very delicate and there's these notches on the side that only allow these to go in one direction. Okay, the next part we're going to look at is actually up here. This is a simple shroud and what it does is it guides air to be blown through the computer. So there's a fan right behind here. But the shroud comes straight off, you just lift it off, it's not attached with anything. And this is our cooling unit. What it does is it cools down the CPU which is hidden underneath here. So what you're going to have to do is grab the special screwdriver here that we're going to need to use. And this is a, um, a T10 screw on the end and that matches the screws that are in here. You could use a flathead screwdriver to do this. Not advised though because one slip of that screwdriver and you can land it down here onto the motherboard and you can permanently damage your computer so now I will undo one screw there's springs on it so it'll never come out but basically you're unscrewing it from the from the board and then I'm going to go kitty corner over here and do the same thing remove this one so that one's loose now well, I want to relieve the, relieve the pressure off that motherboard evenly so I'm going to take this and give it two turns then come over to this side and give it two turns again this is counterclockwise come back over here two turns that one just popped loose two turns this other one should have just popped loose now there is a power cord that is hooked in down here so you got to pull that out Again, it only goes in one way, just pull it out. You got to remember where you're pulling this off from. So, th this is the cooling tower. What this does is it con conducts the heat off of the CPU, which is sitting right here, and brings it up into this radiator. The air flowing across the radiator cools down that CPU. When a CPU gets hot, it slows down. 
So it's important that you're able to remove the heat from it, and that's the uh, purpose of this device. Under here we have our CPU chip. So what we're going to do is press down on this little lever here and pull it out. And that unlocks this lockdown mechanism. We also are going to take and remove the cover that just folds straight over. And then we're going to have the CPU and we can pull that out. And this is pretty impressive. It doesn't look like much from this side, but when you flip it over, you can see all the different contacts that are in here. And the matching contacts are down here. Please do not press on any of these. You can bend those over. So this is our CPU, or, ch or chip that is used. And you can set that off to the side. The last part we're going to look in this unit is going to be RAM. And that's over here. This particular board has slots. It can be expanded into four. There's two in here now of these RAM chips. And I'm going to press down on these two levers at the same time and it pops right out. And this is our RAM. So random access memory, it's all stored here. The only time this is used is when the computer is on, it's for short term storage. And then there's another one, which is right here. These pull out. If you notice, there is a, a notch in here, and the notch may look at first like it's in the center of the board. It's not. It's actually offset. There's a matching notch down here. This is meant so you don't put it in backwards. So when we're going to put this back together, which we're going to start doing right now, you're going to look at the notch. And it doesn't matter which ones these go in, as long as one is in the one that is not colored in, or is a, of a different color. So I just press down, I press down, and it kind of snaps in. Make sure you're going straight down. You don't want to fold it over sideways. Again, put one here. So that goes into these slots. Press straight down, locks in. All right, to put the CPU back in, you'll notice that there is a uh, some color. There's a little triangle on this corner. And there's also a notch right there. There's a matching notch here, so you don't put this in in any other direction than which it was supposed to be. So that goes in. The cover comes down. You have to make sure that lever locks over the cover. And then this goes down. Remember, you got to pull out and get it under that little tab, which is right there. Okay. If you were doing this for real, you would have to put a special paste in here. What the paste does is it makes a good contact between this plate and here. Again, we're not using this computer again, so we're not going to be applying the paste that's there. So remember the fan here was on the back side. So I line up the, uh, the screws here. And then I need to press down, get it started. Go so kitty corner, press down, and I'm always putting pressure down on the unit itself. And I come over here, press down, and get the last one. And go right around and tighten them up. You don't want to tighten down one all the way and then move on to the next one. Don't forget to plug this back in. There's four little plugs here. There's four down here. There's slots so it only goes in in one direction. Kind of tricky to line it up. There it goes. Our shroud goes back on. Pull it away out of the way. Now let's hook our hard drive back up. I think it's easier to hook up the wires first to the hard drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for that um, data cable that goes to it. There's two of them now, one for the CD and there's one for the other one. So I'm going to take and plug that back in. And then I'm also going to plug in the power supply. Like so, slide this in. 
I'm going to be looking for those slots that were there. And you got to fight some wires and whatnot to get this thing in there the right way. I'm trying to stay out of the camera, so it's kind of difficult. Make sure you don't have any wires underneath there. And once you get it in the right spot, it should sit flat and then pull it forward. It locks into place. So there you go, that's it. Again, going backwards, I'm going to be installing the A drive here. I am going to snap this right into place first, line up those screws. Slide it forward, it should lock into place. Then I need to find my serial port, and this is our, our data. Again, look at the tab. There's a tab. i got to flip it over. It goes here. I also need a power supply going into this one. Again, this is an older component, so it's going to be using this guy here. Make sure you put it in the right way. Line up your marks. I'll grab my DVD CD ROM, slide that into place. You'll notice that that really isn't a good fit, but notice there's another one here. So, this is an extra port for power. I line that up, and notice it's not fitting. And yep, I was trying to put it in upside down, so I'm going to flip it over, snap that into place. One last port to put in. This is going to be my data. Put that in. Now, don't just go crushing this down. We have a bunch of wires that are in there and not a lot of space. Try to pull all the wires out from in there that you can. Make it so it will go down easy for you. And that snapped into place. We're done with this part. That snaps down. We can put our cover on now. There are like little hooks here on the end, so that'll slide in like so. That hooks on, and then you can put your cover back on. What I did here is there's uh, little hooks, and these slide into these slots that are here. So you have to have all of them lined up at the same time. That can come some be tricky. I like to put my hands here and then put my forearms down on it to make sure it's flat. And then they lock in. Then you can push it forward and it locks. And you can see it's all lined back up and all back together again. So for this project, you can watch this video. Watch it in steps. Only watch for maybe one or two minutes at a time. Pause it and then take yours apart and then put it back together again. Alright, good luck with the project guys.